Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking and the friendly city of Montego Bay. Today, Creative Cooking comes to you from Margaret's, located on the city's waterfront. I must tell you about this place. It is a seafood paradise. My special guest is Ian Duncan, the export manager at Rainforest Seafoods. We're always meeting up, Ian. It is so good to see you. Liz, it's always a pleasure. It's always good when I see you. It's good to see you, man. Yes. Good to see you, and welcome to Creative Cooking. Thank you for having Finally. me. Finally. <laughs> now, you work as export manager at, at, at Rainforest Seafood. Tell us about some of your job responsibilities. I'm responsible for getting product right across the Caribbean, which we're, which we're doing right now. We are, we're in the, all the major Caribbean islands. Yes. Everywhere I go, I see your signage. Um, yes. Share with us what locations um, we can visit to get your product. Mm -hmm. Our products are um, distributed island-wide. We are strategically located with four distribution points in what the island. These? What are these? Montego Bay, as, as you know, which, which is our, our home, our yes. home office I is in Montego Bay. I must commend you on, yes. on, 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 on your store there. I mean, it, it is... The quality you see displayed there is premium quality, and that's what the consumer wants. Thank yeah? you very much. Mm -hmm. We do a little of that just to get people sensitized to the wide range of seafood. Yeah. We have another one in Kingston, which is our biggest city, yeah. and um, we have a major distribution there also. Yeah. We have two others. What are they? One in Mandeville, in um, okay. central Jamaica, the south coast, okay, strategically located. Mm -hmm. And we have another in Otrius, okay. strategically located for the north coast. Okay. So we, we, we dominate the Jamaican scene where seafood is concerned, yes. from right down there to the, to the most affordable um, protein in seafood right up there to the, to the hotels and the restaurants across the islands. Once you maintain that quality, consumers will be there for your range of products. Thank it was you, a Maisie. pleasure talking pleasure to was you mine and, and, and we try, again. we do try. In just a while, Chef Everly Banks is going to share a very creative way of preparing fish for you. He's preparing jerking snapper. Hello, Jamaica. I'll be making for you today some rainforest jerking snapper. Um, here's a rainforest snapper. It's coated with jerk seasoning, grease jerk seasoning. Um, so I'll go to the frying pan. I'll sit on both sides a minute and a half. Then finish in the oven, five to eight minutes again. All right, so let's do this here. Okay, so you want to alternate cooking on both sides so it cook evenly. Well, it's almost done. Um, what we're going to do is remove it. Remove it from the pan and from here we're going to stick it in the oven. Let's just sit in the oven at about 350 degrees for about 5 to 8 minutes again. Alright? And now we're going to prepare a sauce to go with it. We're going to add some grace fish and meat sauce. Straight to the pan, we're going to pour this in. All right. Then, we're gonna add some mango chutney right here. Mix this in again. All right. Um, then we're gonna add some more mango. The mango nectar right here. And a sprinkler first time. Okay. Just let this reduce on low flame for a minute or two. A nice consistency from it, which I think we've achieved right now. So here we go. What we're gonna do now? Um, here have the finished product that goes with bami sticks. What I'm gonna do now? The spoon sauce. Just drizzle it around it. And for the bami sticks, um, they're soaked in milk with cinnamon, with a pinch of sugar. Soaked with milk and cinnamon. and cinnamon. Okay. Oh, that was good. Hi, chef. I could smell. Listen to me. I can't wait to have this. You know, this it smells so good, chef. Chef, I like the plating. Yeah. Uh, uh, the presentation strikes the eye and naturally the palate. People will want to 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 have this for dinner. We have to invite you to stay with us at the end of the program where we share some of the tips with our consumers, right? <music> We'd like 
to share some ideas with you on creative ways that fish may be served. Chef, it's over to you. You know, we know people are accustomed to serving escovitch fish, a brown stew, um, a Thai fish, a range. But what are new ideas, creative ideas, quick and easy ideas that we can share with the consumer? What All right, um, this one I have, which is very, very exciting. Yeah. Uh, we Jamaicans, yeah. rundowns about our tradition. Yeah, fish in a rundown sauce. Oh, yeah, right? the beautiful grey coconut milk. Yes, beautiful. That's a start right there. Right. Mm -hmm. you go add your own home seasons, add your own touches to it. Yes. Can be that. Again, um, just want to divert a little bit. Um, people like to explore during Lent. Yes. Rainforest for extent mixed crab pieces. Okay. Okay. Yes. You have that you can explore. They have crab meats. If you want to go to extra to make crab cakes, you have to do crab box. Certainly, certainly. And there's a bunch of different stuff you can do. Um, you know, I, I want to share one with you where you will just um, cut the fillet in bite sized pieces. You heat a little vegetable oil, saute some seasonings, and put the pieces of fish in, and you stir. And chef, all you have to do is to empty a bottle of braised fish and meat sauce in there. Smother it, and you're gone. In eight or ten minutes, yeah. divine. What are okay. some of the ideas we want to serve? To serve, people use a bat. People like to use a batter. Right. Huh? Um, there's this excellent butter too you can always use. Again, it's big flour. Yes. Baking powder. Yes. Beer. Yes. Eggs. And eggs. Yes. And, and Whatever spice you want to add to it, mm -hmm. just to flavor mm -hmm. up the butter bit. Mm -hmm. Make it look a tempura, dip of fish in. Uh, you know, Chef, thank you for that idea. Another thing, you know, we find that the herbs, you know, we look at um, fever grass, lemon, lemon grass, grass, yes, yeah. you know, um, the mints that we have, we find that they really lemon, contribute. Lemon zest. Lemon zest, yes, yes Chef. Lime. And, you know, um, at this, as you mentioned, lemon zest, we could maybe serve fish in a, in, in, in a lemon sauce. Eh? Yeah. yeah, and then you have orange, I mean, fish with yeah. citrus again, right. always, uh -huh. always go well. And, and in, as you mentioned, you know, like the oranges too, you can imagine plating fish with that too, yeah. right? Orange slices, mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of big fish with orange slices, orange juice. Yes. Uh, okay. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many things that can explore. But one of the key points we want to mention here, Chef, is that we should not overcook the fish. What no, will happen I, if we overcook fish? I mean, it's dead. It's dead. And it's already dead. <laughs> Lifeless. Yeah. We cannot afford, can afford to overcook. That. I mean, okay. they'll come out dry, come out tough, come out tough. I mean, tough and you're gonna lose the flavors yeah, and appetite. Right. Want to when, when you when you eat fish, what do you want to hear? See coming out, chef. Something that is mm. mouth watering, exactly. right? Satisfying, and what, uh, you're looking for ideas that will satisfy the need of every member of the family. Yeah. Chef, as always, it was a pleasure working with you. I thoroughly enjoyed working with you. And that's the show for today. Please remember that we welcome your comments and your questions. We look forward to hearing from you. You may contact us by phone, by mail, by email. Until next time, walk good. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking, and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 735 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs, demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, It's Morning Time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 735 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it.